Imagine living in a world where the mysteries of the human brain are unlocked, where mental health disorders are not a life sentence, but a condition that can be managed or even cured. This is not a far-off dream. Today, we stand on the cusp of a revolution in mental health care, powered by the burgeoning field of neurotechnology. Cutting, edge research and innovations are transforming how we understand, diagnose, and treat mental health disorders, fundamentally altering the landscape of psychiatric medicine. Neurotechnology refers to the array of tools and technologies designed to understand and manipulate the nervous system, especially the brain. These tools can range from benign ead caps that read brainwaves to implanted devices that can modulate neural activity deep within the brain. The integration of neurotechnology in treating mental health disorders is a testament to the progress we have made in neuroscience, bioengineering, and psychology. Deep Brain Stimulation, or DEEBS, is one of the most advanced forms of neurotechnology currently in use for treatment, resistant mental health conditions. With a heritage that dates back to the late 20th century, DBs involve surgically implanting electrodes in specific areas of the brain. These electrodes are connected to a pulse generator, which sends electrical impulses to the brain, aiming to correct the dyes-regulated neural circuits that contribute to disorders like Parkinson's disease, depression, and obsessive-compulsive disorder. One of the most exciting aspects of DBs is its ability to provide relief where traditional medications and therapies have failed. Patients suffering from debilitating depression or severe ALKT have reported dramatic improvements in their symptoms, leading to a better quality of life. However, the potential risks of surgery and the challenges in identifying the most effective stimulation sites mean that DBs is currently reserved. For the most severe cases, transcranial magnetic stimulation or TEMS offers a less invasive alternative. Using magnetic coils placed on the scalp, TIMS generates focused magnetic pulses that induce electrical currents in the brain. These currents can modulate neural activity, helping to reset dysfunctional brain circuits. TIMS has been FDA approved for the treatment of major depressive disorder and is being explored for a range of other conditions, including anxiety, PTSD, and addiction. The non-invasive nature of TIMS makes it an attractive option for many patients and ongoing research aims to refine its efficacy and broaden its application. Another promising area of neurotechnology is neurofeedback, a type of biofeedback that uses real-time displays of brain activity, often through EEG, to teach self-regulation of brain functions. By rewarding desired brain activity patterns, neurofeedback aims to enable patients to consciously influence their mental state. For example, Individuals with RDE may learn to increase their brain's beta wave activity, associated with alertness, to improve focus and reduce impulsivity. Beyond these established technologies, the frontier of neurotech is continually expanding. Researchers are experimenting with optogenetics, a technique that uses light to control neurons that have been genetically modified to be light sensitive. While still in the preclinical phase, Optogenetics holds immense potential for precisely identifying and modulating brain circuits implicated in mental health disorders. Even as we marvel at these technological advancements, we must also address the ethical implications. The idea of hacking the brain brings forth concerns about privacy, consent, and identity. What does it mean for our sense of self if our thoughts and emotions can be externally modulated? As we navigate these uncharted waters, it is crucial that we develop ethical frameworks to guide the application of neurotech in mental health. The confluence of big data, artificial intelligence, and neuroimaging is leading to the development of predictive models that can identify individuals at risk of mental health disorders before symptoms appear. This preventive approach could radically shift the focus from treatment to early intervention, potentially sparing millions from the full brunt of mental illness. The journey of integrating neurotechnology into mental health care is filled with challenges. Complexity in ascertaining the right intervention for each individual, the high costs associated with these technologies, and the need for multidisciplinary collaboration are some of the hurdles on the road ahead. Nevertheless, the promise of neurotech offers a beacon of hope for those struggling with mental health disorders. It signals the dawn of a new era where mental health is not cloaked in stigma and inefficacy, but illuminated by the light of science and innovation. 
as we conclude this exploration to the use of neurotechnology for treating mental health disorders, we are left with a profound sense of possibility. The advances we've discussed today are not mere speculations. They are tangible, ongoing, and evolving. They substantiate a future where mental health issues are approached with the same precision and individualized care as physical health conditions. It is essential, however, to proceed with caution, humility, and a strong ethical compass as we tread the delicate terrain of the human psyche. The integration of neurotech into mental health care represents a paradigm shift, a leap forward that could redefine what it means to live a healthy, fulfilled life. It propels us toward a time when the darkness of mental illness is lifted, not through serendipity but through the clear incisive light of human ingenuity and compassion. Today we stand at the threshold of this new dawn, and it is with eager anticipation that we watch the sun rise on the horizon of neurotechnology and mental health.